Hello there, and welcome to the IXSR how-to video series. Today we are going to go over the four-wheel steer programming. First thing we're going to do to set up four-wheel steering is we're going to need to set up the model itself. But first, we're going to go to Setup. We're going to scroll down to Model Setup. Here we can name the model. Choose a receiver. In this case, I'm going to do a 315. Choose telemetry. Choose electric. And choose reverse. Single motor. And here's where we need to select dual steering. There's all the mapping of the receiver. And we can save settings for this model. The next step into doing the four wheel steer programming is we need to go to drive modes. Here in drive modes, we need to select our choice of switch. Personally, I like the F switch. It is a three position switch just behind the steering wheel. Next, we need to add three more drive modes. We're then going to name each drive mode to correspond with a setting later in this video. And these will be front, all, crab, and rear. I am also going to change the color of each drive mode so that way at the top of the screen, where it says front and the top left, will also change color depending on the mode I am in. The next option that we need to do to finish the four wheel steer programming is going into steering. Now we're gonna scroll down to all wheel steer mode. And as you can see in the top left, it currently says front. All wheel steer mode says AWS. We're gonna click the drop down and go to front. So that way all wheel steer mode and the drive mode up top match. Now I'm gonna move the F switch so it goes to all. And now all wheel steer mode also says AWS. I'm gonna move the switch again to crab and we'll do the drop down and go to crab mode. Do it one more time for rear steer. And let's change that one as well. Now, if you want to verify that everything is working correctly, you can use the switch and go back and forth between the modes. And as you can see, front didn't save, so I'm going to change it. And now all saved. And we can go back to the home screen. This completes today's IXSR how-to video, and we thank you for watching.